moments ago, scientists made an incredible discovery beneath the ruins of Pompeii that could change what we know about ancient Roman life. Hidden under layers of ash for nearly 2,000 years, they found a workshop with tools, materials and clues about everyday life in the city. How did they uncover this long-lost piece of history? And what does it tell us about the final moments of Pompeii? Let's explore this amazing find that gives us a new look at the people who lived and died in this ancient city. In ancient times, Pompeii was full of life and culture, but a disaster struck in just a few hours that would forever change history. On what seemed like an ordinary day, the residents of Pompeii had no idea that their lives would soon end. When Mount Vesuvius erupted, it sent waves of deadly, hot vapor and ash down the mountainside, eliminating everyone in its path. The people who were inside their homes had no chance to escape. As time passed and archaeologists uncovered the city's remains, they discovered that the devastation was even worse than anyone had imagined. The victims of Pompeii suffered greatly, and new discoveries continue to reveal just how terrible their last moments were. Pompeii, located near modern Naples, Italy, was once a thriving city under Roman rule. By 79 AD, it was a bustling place, filled with shops, restaurants and preparations for gladiator games. But Mount Vesuvius, a nearby volcano, was quietly waiting to erupt. Without warning, the volcano exploded, covering the city in ash and debris. Buildings collapsed, trapping people inside, and by the afternoon, Pompeii was completely destroyed. The city was buried under six meters of ash, and its people were frozen in time. For many years, scientists have studied the final moments of Pompeii's residents. Recently, new technology has allowed them to create casts of the spaces left by the bodies, revealing the expressions of the victims in their last moments. Some were found huddled together, possibly trying to help each other as the disaster unfolded. These detailed studies are giving us a clearer picture of who these people were, including what they ate, what they owned, and their roles in society. However, as we learn more about Pompeii, the site itself faces new threats from natural decay and the impact of millions of visitors. Archaeologists and conservationists are working hard to protect Pompeii, knowing that Mount Vesuvius could erupt again. The race to study and preserve Pompeii is urgent, as the city still holds many secrets waiting to be discovered. One team, led by Raphael Martinelli, is creating a 3D map of the entire city. This project will capture every detail of Pompeii, from its grand villas to its narrow streets. It's an important effort to preserve Pompeii's history and ensure that the story of this ancient city is never forgotten. Raphael and his team have a big job at Pompeii. They're carefully examining the entire site, hoping to learn more about how the ancient Romans lived and died. Using advanced laser scanners, they capture incredibly detailed images of the city's buildings, from large temples to simple homes. This helps them not only see how things are now, but also understood how they've changed over time. Their work is important for planning how to fix and protect Pompeii in the future. The laser scanners they use are extremely precise, recording over a million points per second. This allows them to create highly detailed 3D models of the structures. For example, they've scanned the thermal baths and the luxurious house of Menander, showing off the Romans' amazing technology like hot, running water. Once they have all the data, Raphael uses modern computers to turn the scans into lifelike 3D images. These images are so detailed that future generations will be able to explore Pompeii almost as if they were there, seeing everything from grand villas to busy bars. Today's technology, like iPads and cloud storage, has made archaeological work much easier and faster. Archaeologists can now access huge amounts of information right at the excavation site, 
helping them record and analyze their findings more quickly and accurately. This technology is essential in capturing every detail of Pompeii's history. As Raphael's team continues their work, they're discovering new details that challenge what we thought we knew about Pompeii's destruction. It wasn't just the massive volcanic eruption that destroyed the city. Powerful earthquakes also played a big role. These new findings are helping us better understand the tragic end of Pompeii. Eric, another archaeologist, has spent nearly 20 years studying one particular building in Pompeii. After four years of careful research, he's beginning to think that this building wasn't what people had always believed it to be. The beautiful decorations, even in places like the bathroom, suggest that it was much more than just an ordinary structure. To learn more, Eric is using a handheld sensor that captures the 3D shape and surface details of the building. This tool is giving archaeologists a clearer view of ancient structures than ever before. Eric's scans have even revealed a secret opening in the wall that connects to a large sewer system, suggesting that this building was more important than previously thought. Eric now believes that this building might have been a significant public space, like a marketplace rather than the gladiator barracks it was once thought to be. The sophisticated design, including a large bathroom, indicates that it was meant to serve many people. This new technology isn't just helping archaeologists answer old questions, it's also leading to new discoveries that could change how we see the past. As they continue their work, Eric and his team may uncover more secrets that will reshape our understanding of Pompeii. Another team is using modern tools to explore an ancient library filled with scrolls. By virtually unrolling these 2,000-year-old documents, they hope to discover lost writings that could teach us more about ancient Roman culture. This mix of old artifacts and new technology is helping us reconnect with the distant past. Cedric is another researcher with a unique mission, bringing back the flavors of ancient Pompeii. He's studying old texts to learn about the drinks people enjoyed thousands of years ago. In Pompeii, wine was often enjoyed between meals, a habit very different from how we drink wine today. Cedric and his team are recreating ancient winemaking techniques, even building a replica of a Pompeian wine press. The wine they produce tastes just like what a Roman would have drunk. This work isn't just about making wine, it's about connecting with the people of Pompeii and understanding their way of life. Their research has shown that Romans preferred aged, oxidized wines, which are very different from the fresh wines we drink today. Wine was a big part of life in Pompeii, with bars and social spots all over the city where people would gather to drink and chat. One such place was the Bar of Amarantus, where people from all walks of life came together after a long day's work. These bars were lively places where people could gamble and socialize, making them a key part of daily life in Pompeii. Pompeii was more than just a place with bars and restaurants. Recent digs have shown us that it had a thriving economy right until its tragic end. The Pompeii 114 project a team effort between the University of Turin and the Archaeological Park of Pompeii has been exploring a part of the city called Insula One since 2020. They found something amazing, a well-preserved workshop where people made mats which played a big role in the city's economy. They discovered reed mats, a large container, and a detailed drainage system that give us a glimpse into the busy lives of Pompeii's people. Next door, in what used to be a bustling restaurant, they found the remains of ancient meals. There were olives, figs, and chicken bones, showing us what the people of Pompeii used to eat. Among these finds, small round cakes with poppy seeds were a special treat that seemed to be a favorite in the city. These discoveries tell us that Pompeii was a city full of life, 
with smart urban planning that matched the vibrancy of its daily activities. Professor Eric Palla has been carefully mapping out Pompeii's ancient streets, focusing on Via Consularis, a road buried deep under volcanic ash. As the street is uncovered, it reveals secrets that have been hidden for centuries. Eric explains that these streets were more than just ways to get from place to place. They also helped with cart traffic, walking, and even drainage during heavy rains. The large stones in the streets weren't just there by chance. They were stepping stones to help people avoid the water that flowed during rains. Eric's work shows us that the streets of Pompeii were cleverly designed to handle the challenges of nature. But think about this. What if these long buried streets still have lessons to teach us about how to design cities today? Could Pompeii's ancient design help modern urban planning? Let's dive back into the discoveries. Another interesting thing about Pompeii's streets is the deep wheel ruts in the stone. By studying these ruts, Eric found that at a key intersection, the street was designed to make right turns easier for carts. A small but important detail that suggests a well thought out traffic system. Eric noticed that some stepping stones were worn down by cartwheels, leading him to suggest a new idea. Pompeii might have had an early traffic management system. By studying how carts moved around the city, he believes he can map out the ancient traffic patterns. His research suggests that even back then, the city had a carefully planned system to manage the flow of carts, similar to the traffic systems we use today. As Eric continues to explore the streets with his tablet, he starts to see a clear pattern. He finds specific routes for northbound and southbound traffic placed strategically next to each other. By recording these details digitally, Eric has created the first ever map of Pompeii's street movements, revealing a complex traffic control system that was hidden for centuries. Now think about this. Could the way we manage traffic today have roots in ancient Pompeii? What other lessons might we learn as we dig deeper into this ancient city's secrets? These findings don't just show Pompeii's advanced urban planning. They also connect the past and the present. Pompeii had only 12,000 residents, but thousands more came in and out every day. Managing this flow of people and carts was crucial and the city's well-organized streets reflect challenges that are still relevant today. Eric's work shows us that while technology has changed, the core challenges of managing a city's traffic have remained very similar over time. Could the buried city of Pompeii reveal secrets about ancient Roman life that we never imagined? What if the way they lived and built their city could change how we understand history today? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button and subscribe for more.